Hello, this is Albert here and I usually share adventures with me and tutorials on how to do it. For those who haven't seen any of those videos, don't worry, I'm not going to drag it out to try to get you follow us on TikTok or Instagram. Today I want to talk about something else, the stuff that you don't see in those videos. Getting a cat comes with many perks, but it also comes with great responsibility. I would like to share with you what things changed in my life when I got Mia in terms of routine, our home, my lifestyle, changes as a person, and finally, economically. If you're a new cat mom or a new cat dad, or even if you had a cat for a while and you're looking for a fresh start, consider subscribing. The subscribe button is like down there near the like and the share button. You can hit it anytime if you find value in this video. Let's work. There's a lot to cover today, so without further ado, let's see how Mia changed my routine. Cats can be sleeping all day or going nuts on Zoomies time. What happens between Zoomies time and sleep? Is food. There are two ways to tackle feeding. You can either free feed them or put them on a schedule. Free feeding your cat, which means having always food available for them, will allow you to have more time for yourself. But it comes at a cost. The opportunity to bond with your cat two, three times a day and the opportunity of teaching your cat tricks. Cats conditioned to the never-ending dry buffet are also at risk of developing obesity, urinary problem, and kidney failure. To name just a few, but this is a topic for another day. So if you choose to put your cat on a schedule, you're going to have to be there two, three times a day or find someone or something that does it on your behalf. Automatic feeders are a good life hack to feed that midday meal if you're working away from home. I will add some links to wet and dry food feeders in the description box down below so you can check them out if you're interested. The second biggest impact in my routine is the waking up time. I no longer need an alarm clock, except for those very cheap flights at 4 a.m. in the morning. Especially if you put your cat on a schedule, you're going to be waking up at the time of that first meal, no matter what. Cats tend to find peace in routine, and for them, every day is cat day. So forget about sleeping in on weekends or holidays. Finally, playtime. Cats have the reputation of being low maintenance, easy care pets, but all cats, especially kitties under one year of age, have a ton of energy. They benefit from consistent interactive play and activity, aka exercise, as much as dogs and people do. Playtime will keep your cat healthy and strong stress-free and it will greatly enhance the bonds that you share with them. Keeping your cat healthy and happy with playtime will require from you 20 minutes at least in two good play sessions a day. Oh, and I almost forgot. Most cats are happy to use the litter box because their instinct is to bury their urine and feces. But what they don't do is clean the litter box and take out the trash. Scooping the poo should be done daily, cleaning and disinfecting the litter box at least every two weeks. Your lifestyle is going to be affected if you decide to share your life with a cat. The two biggest impacts that I could find were traveling and housing. Traveling is the movement of people and animals between two distant geographical locations. Travel can be done by foot, Bicycle, automobile, train, boat, bus, airplane, ship or other. Traveling can be extremely fun and educational for humans, but cats can get very stressed with it, especially untrained ones. Regardless of if you want to travel with your cat for fun or it's a one-way trip because you're moving, traveling with a cat comes with complications. Training your cat to be on their carrier, Ensuring that the transportation of your choosing allows pet carrying everything you need for them. I take a carrier and a full bag of luggage just for me when we travel. Litter, food, toys, a blanket, toilet training pads, some litter, a disposable litter box, water and food bowls, and paperwork. A lot. Traveling with a cat, especially by plane, can become very complex. If you're curious about everything that goes into planning a trip with your cat, I will be adding a link in the description box down below as well so you can check it out afterwards. It's generally easier to find a property that will accept cats than a property that will accept dogs. Nevertheless, you still have to check with the rental agency or landlord and it still might reduce your potential options for rental properties next time you decide to move. Once you have found your place, you will want to provide your cat the opportunity for maximum stimulation while reducing its opportunity for escape, keeping windows closed or ensuring that window screens are installed. Provide opportunities for climbing, scratching, hiding and resting throughout the property. High points are particularly important, so ensure that you provide each room with the specific vantage points that your cat can access for both rest and view the comings and goings of the area. Especially if you don't want them on tables or the counter. Your home will never be the same. Odor, hair and scratches are going to become part of your decor. And yes, you can work hard against them, but to some extent, they will always be there. Despite I love cooking, I never had to worry about smells until I got Mia. There are several sources of odors that can make your home smell like a swamp. The most common ones are the litter box, carpets and rugs, 
and cat food, which has a very strong smell to stimulate cat's appetite. The best way to keep others from overtaking your home is to avoid them in the first place. Choosing a covered litter box and feeding your cat high quality food are going to prevent most of the smell. But if keeping your home smelling fresh and clean is very important to you, you will probably need an air purifier. I would show you a picture of the one that I use, but I'm in Spain now, so I can just offer you to share a link in the description box down below with the one that I use. Cats need to scratch, to sharpen their claws, exercise, stretch their muscles, and mark their territory. If you fail to provide an acceptable area for scratching, then your carpets, furniture, and wallpaper are going to become their scratching area. And once a cat finds an attractive area to scratch, you're going to keep going back to that area. Scratching posts come in all shapes and sizes and they are an amazing addition to your home decor. Said this, no matter how many scratching posts you get, your carpet, sofa and many clothes are going to end up free. Keeping our cat's fur from coating our entire home can become a difficult endeavor. Unless you're Sphinx the boat, hair is an unfortunate byproduct of sharing your life with a cat. Brushing your kitty and having a Roomba are going to be your two best friends for keeping your cat free from hair. Oh, and you will never feel safe again when leaving a glass in the corner of the table. When it comes to pets, money matters. The average cost of having a cat is around $800 per year. A little over that the year you get the cat because you need to set things up. As most cats live an average of 15 years, I know that there are many factors affecting this number but I'm trying to make things simple. This becomes an average lifetime cost of $12,000 coming from litter, food, and health. These figures are merely estimate and many cat owners are going to spend three to four times these numbers through their cat's life, especially if they're sick or you travel with them. I will be breaking down the costs of owning a cat very soon, so if the link doesn't appear on screen right now, means that it's not uploaded yet, consider subscribing so you get a notification when the video is up. On the other hand, and opposite to what I was saying, Mia has taught me to enjoy the little things in life. A short walk near home, a small hike on the weekend, or a short ride to a place I love in my neighborhood. There are so many beautiful things we can do locally that are for free and we don't enjoy on a regular basis. But with a cat, everything becomes an adventure. Taking your cat outdoors will make you research for those things and you will both benefit from it. Leaving aside the fact that Mia has me running around the house with a string or talking in silly voices, the biggest change I've had since I got Mia is in personality. Adopting a kitty or a cat is a long-term responsibility and commitment. It's a decision that you want to give careful thought to and be prepared for, not one that can be taken lightly or impulsively. The fact that I'm this cutie spy main source of food, care and play has taught me a lot about caring for others and altruism. Patience and positive reinforcement are essential if you're trying to train your cat. I've never been so patient with anyone in my life. Oh. Mia has taught me that we all move at different speeds and have different motivators. Learning to understand and accept them is also key to get them understanding you as well. If you're considering teaching clicker training, I really recommend you to watch this video. I explain how to clicker train your cat in three easy steps. Good girl. Oh well, and I started the YouTube channel, isn't that crazy? Putting myself in front of the camera to share with you what I'm learning throughout my cat that life. I put a lot of time and effort in researching, editing and uploading these videos. If you find value in any way and want to thank me, hit the like button. It's down there near the subscribe and share buttons. It's totally free and makes my effort worth it. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching, see you next time.